Hello, and today we're going to look at how to manage users in this tutorial video. There are two different ways you can access and edit users within Tradogram. So as always from the top right, this is where you get a lot of your setup options. So you can either go into your company or your branch just by clicking on the links beside your profile picture or by clicking on this drop down. So for example, if we go into manage company, you'll notice that there is a users tab. And when we click on that at a view from the company level, we can see what the role of that user is, what branch they're in. And at the right, there are three action buttons, four actually. So here we have edit profile, edit access, and edit permissions, as well as in deactivate and activate users. You can see from your company view how many users your plan allows and how many users you have registered. So if somebody leaves the company, for example, you can always deactivate and replace that license with another user. So if you go into branches, you'll see a slightly different view. So here when I go to branches and I go to user, again, I'll see role, but this time I'll see department. So this is something that is quite important to the, to the functionality. Uh, so let's just go through these buttons really quickly. If we go into the profile, it's very straightforward. This is just, of course, the name of the person, their email, what group they're in. Now selecting a group does by default change permissions. So this is something we'll definitely go through is it's something that's very important with how Tradogram works. So this is where you can associate a particular user to a particular group. When we go to edit access, this is where we can see what they have access to in the software. So you may have multi locations such as branches. So in our example here, you do see that we do have multiple branches. So we have Las Vegas, the main office, Montreal and Ottawa, as well as Saskatoon. So those are all different branches. Now Tradogram does operate primarily at a branch level. Uh, so if you do have access like, like I do, you'll see this button here at the top, which says switch operating branch. Now all transactions are done at a branch level. So if you're entering a purchase order or requisition, you always want to make sure you're in the proper branch. And that's always notated here at the bottom by main office. That's the current branch I'm in. Now within branches, you also have departments. This is something you can customize. So we'll show you that here in a bit, but you can also give access to different departments for each individual user. Now within that department or branch, you can also set up different types of permissions. So this is how Tradogram really views and functions is through these options here. So here you can see there's all sorts of different action items in terms of what people can access and what level they can access it at. So you can typically select between your own transactions, your branch or the company. So this is something that that's very important. Uh, so this is probably where we do get the most questions. So uh, take a look through these. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. We do fully assisted implementations, uh, but if you have any questions about these different options and, and what they do, feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to help.